So the Minnesota Wild have not had the start to their season that they would like, sitting in seventh place in the Central Division standings, but they've had better play as of late, winning seven of their last ten heading into tonight, and it was a big challenge. On the road against the team with the best record in the NHL, the Boston Bruins, down 2-1 to third. Jake Middleton lets one fly. First shot off the post. Kirill Kaprizov there for the rebound. Score were tied at two. A few minutes later, Brock Faber launching one towards the Bruins goal. Ryan Hartman eventually corrals it and finds the back of the net. Minnesota takes the lead. Into OT we go. Joel Erickson Eck to Kirill. The thrill for the game winner. The Wild upset the Bruins 4-3 in overtime. The next host, the Canadiens, on Thursday. University of North Dakota may soon get a chance to play conference tournament hockey games at the Ralph Engelstad Arena. Today, the National Collegiate Hockey Conference announced they'll be shifting to an entirely home site tournament once their contract with the Excel Energy Center in St. Paul ends in 2026. UND is in the middle of their midseason break right now. They last lost back-to-back -back overtime games to Colorado College December 8th and 9th. But they have still been a strong 12-5-1 on the season. Even with those losses, they're ranked 4th or 5th in the country in the latest national polls. UND next hosts the U.S under 18 national team for an exhibition December 30th. The next game that counts is January 5th against Alaska. The NDSU men's basketball team was on the road tonight. Bowden Skunberg scored a team high 19 points. The Bison fall 76-63 to Southern Illinois. NDSU is 7-6 on the season. NDSU football's leading rusher on the season officially declared for the NFL draft today. Tamaric Williams making that announcement on X, or what used to be called Twitter. He was already a sixth-year senior using his COVID year this year anyway. Tomorrow is a big day for college football teams across the country. National Signing Day. Now you could argue the transfer portal is a bigger deal these days, but either way, this is an important milestone to watch uh, for who switches or who sticks in NDSU with NDSU under their new coach, Tim Polisek. 